So uh, this is actually an auspicious morning. As, as we noted last night, uh, the, the timing for all of this was uh, rather interesting uh, when we first started talking to IDC about uh, sponsoring the festivities. Uh, we all thought that day one of our new business was going to be before the, uh, the forum. Uh, then, of course, the day that was planned sort of got canceled for a couple of reasons. We weren't told of the new date. And it was like, eh, what are we going to be able to say? And then last week, we heard that day one is today. So you're all there. Happy birthday. <laughs> so uh, we're actually going to have, as Dell EMC, going to have two presentations. It's wrong in your agenda. We reverse things. So I'll do sort of the Dell side, if you will, now, and Percy Selnick will do the EMC side uh, this afternoon. Um, I really wanted to talk a little bit. I'll go through this real quickly. You know, this is all stuff that I think everybody in this room knows. It's really that you know the point of the focus that we've been developing over certainly over the last year as we've been building a new organization around HPC, um, is really how, as Dell, this is the way Dell as a company has kind of uh, mainstreamed, in many respects, uh, PCs, you know, with the work that uh, Michael did, you know, down the road a piece in his dorm room to uh, democratize the PC and make it a lot easier for people to consume as a technology and so on. We want to do the same thing for HPC. Um, part of that is, and it was nice following uh, Bob, with the notion of, you know, how can we make these systems easier for the general community to use and broaden their usage significantly, uh, recognizing that it's more than the traditional customers and government and academia and so on, but, you know, hesitate to use the words, again, missing middle, but since Bob mentioned it before, I, I'll, I'll blame it on him. But the you know, making sure that we can reach out to all those industrial customers, all those folks who may be running analytical software on their workstations or PCs, but haven't quite graduated to an HPC system yet. We want to make sure we're providing something that enables them, just as Michael enabled the PC business out of these, his uh, dorm room over at the uh, University of Texas. We want to do it in a way that meets the requirements of industry for enabling innovation. So you're seeing the, the spec, which I think came out of an IDC ROI report, if I remember correctly, um, that talked about 45% of IT execs who were really saying that um, enabling innovation is, is one of, if not their top priority. Uh, we recognize the growing uh, aspects around big data and data-centric workflows and the storage and data uh, Manipulation is becoming increasingly part of it, uh, but we also see that uh, only 18% of organizations are, think they're effective in bringing new technologies in. So again, we want to make it simpler. And you know, from a pure business standpoint, it's important to us because we're seeing a bigger and bigger piece of the server business is represented by HPC, which, by the way, has gotten the attention of our corporate uh, folks and is part of the reason why we're getting more and more in, um, uh, investment by the corporation into what we're doing. So our vision is simple, is really a, a comprehensive product offering of products and solutions that will advance and democratize HPC. So I like to describe that as if we, you know, if we take the IDC numbers and build the traditional market pyramid of, right, of work, work group on the bottom, supercomputer on the top, and the usual pyramid uh, based on volumes of units. Um, we want to broaden that at the bottom, that's the democratized part, and we want to raise it from the top, that's the advanced part. We want to be there at all parts of the market, making sure we're building solutions, Dell HPC systems, that are really targeted at all parts of the market to enable the effective use of HPC, which again is becoming critical for innovation, competitiveness, competitiveness and so on. Again, I don't have to uh, convince the folks in that room of, of this room of that. Um, we have a simple strategic set of priorities. One is, again, solutions development. 
at all ends of the market, doing integrated systems, engineered systems, again, to put our expertise into a standard methodology for putting together HPC solutions, aka Dell HPC systems. We want to do that at all scales. We want, again, we want to make sure we're doing it for the work group, but we want to make sure we're doing it for the supercomputer class as well. And we're going to be moving up market just as we broaden the base. We're going to focus on a set of critical vertical segments at HPC. We've been building into our organization expertise in the major segments. Um, I'll mention in a minute a few people in the room who are doing that, but with a focus in research, life sciences, and so on. Again, working through the full value chain. Part of a, an important way that we're making sure that we're doing the right things for these solutions is also the way that we're partnering with some of our key customers. So we talk about expanded partnerships for innovation and impact with a set of what we're calling centers of innovation. Here in the U.S., doing that right here with TAC, doing it with San Diego Supercomputer Center, doing it with, the, uh, with NCSA. Um, in EMEA, the University of Cambridge, University of Pisa, and just recently, we added the Center for High Performance Computing in Cape Town, uh, which we're really excited about. If there's a, a poster child for the notion of democratization of HPC, it is what Happy Satoli is doing in Cape Town with not only you know, creating a resource for research, but really using that as a national resource for economic development and actually a resource for the whole continent of Africa, as well as a resource, and I note that we're going to be talking about workforce development this afternoon, for our whole educational program in South Africa to develop the next generation of computer scientists who are going to take HPC even further. And oh, by the way, they have won the student challenge three times in the last four years. We were the ones in the back of the room at... Uh, ISC cheering them on uh, like crazy. Um, and we're expanding the program to APJ. Uh, we just recently signed an agreement with Tsinghua University in Beijing, um, who's going to be the next center of innovation uh, for us in, uh, in that region. Uh, we've also invested a great deal in a very specific facility. Um, my buddy owner here is nodding. Only Celebreu is the leader of uh, this activity, runs our HPC engineering team and the HPC Innovation Lab. This is a facility uh, that in Texas terms is right around the corner um, over in Palmer, uh, where we have uh, a collection of world-class HPC systems, uh, including some that a hint, you'll be seeing, I think, entries in an important list in the not too distant future. Um, building some big systems where we can test new technologies, where we can test our engineered systems, working with real applications, test new technologies. We had OPA running there before it was commercially available. We have KNL running there right now that we're making available to our customers to test applications and so on. We'll have Sky Lake there before anybody has access to them um, out in the public. And again, the idea is it's a sandbox for testing new technologies from our own engineers as well as for our customers and our partners. And again, doing that at scale. So I'll point out that we do give tours. Um, we'd love to take folks through the lab. If anybody's interested in taking a tour of the lab, let us know. So. The strategy slide really is this. It's, again, that we're building the expertise and capabilities for HPC, adding a number of folks in the room here who I'll ask to raise hands. Jay Boisson in the back, who folks may recall, used to be the director at TAC, is my fellow strategist. We, he is the technology strategist. I'm sort of the business strategist, if you will. So we're kind of connected at the hip. I mentioned owner who runs the HPC uh, engineering team. Um, Jeff Kirk is part of the CTO office in, the, in our organization, leads the uh, HPC effort from that side. Um, April Berman is sitting back over there. April, raise your hand, is part of our uh, product management team for the, our server group, 
uh, particularly focusing on our C-class servers, which are kind of the, the machines that are, if you will, targeted for some of the special requirements of high-performance computing. We have our strategic partnerships, of course, with folks like Intel, our co-sponsor for our presence here, as well as, of course, with NVIDIA, Mellanox, and many others. Uh, again, testing out our technology innovations in the Innovation Lab. Um, and last on that line, but not least, is our worldwide presence and our expertise around the world in sales and solution architects who are absolutely the real experts in deploying these systems. And Steve Suffhauser, who runs our Americas team, is sitting over there in the back. So again, make sure you have a chance to chat with him. We build on that on our, on our collection, our portfolio of products and services, the PowerEdge ser uh, servers, uh, our, our expanded storage products, not only with the traditional Dell storage, but now with all a, a collective set of uh, products that uh, EMC brings to the table. Um, Dell networking products, including 100 gigabit Ethernet and so on, as well as our partnership uh, with Intel on OPA. And we have, we're one of the only companies doing a Dell branded uh, OPA switch, Dell uh, Networking H-Series. Uh, we also, of course, partner with Mellanox. A variety of management products. Uh, Bright Computing is, is a partner of ours. We're working closely with OpenHPC um, in the software infrastructure there. We're working with folks like Cycle Computing on the cloud side. Um, a full range of services from deployment and financial services and really everything from beginning to end. And of course, a big part of our organization, the cloud organization inside uh, Jim's uh, Engineered Systems HPC and Cloud Group or is, sits right next to the HPC team. And we're sharing a great deal of, of focus on things like OpenStack, for example, to be able to deploy um, into HPC and bringing uh, VMware into the fold is going to be an important addition to that. And of course, all of that becomes much, much richer, and the solutions that we'll be building over time become much richer with the capabilities that the new organization brings to bear. So again, the why for HPC, best to breed products. The accelerated time to solution, again, by building engineered H Dell HPC systems that allow us to deploy quickly, configure quickly, and so on. Uh, we can optimize for whatever scale, and of course, the execution and delivery that we can do on a worldwide basis. And oh, by the way, we've got a little bit of experience on this. And it's not only from Dell, it's from EMC and VMware. Collectively, we've got a presence in customer sites all over the world, many of which are customers for multiple of our products. So it's not only Dell customers and EMC customers, it's a lot who are both. So a few uh, that we all know and love. TAC right here in Austin has both our system, Stampede, Stampede KNL on the uh, top 500 list, and uh, the upcoming Stampede 2.0. Uh, but they're also a user of DSSD from EMC. So again, lots of synergies in there um, across the marketplace. So I'm almost out of time, or actually technically I am, but uh, doesn't stop me. Um, you know, just to reiterate, you know, the, the focus on enabling innovation and discoveries, doing it now as Dell Technologies, do it better than anybody, we intend to lead in this marketplace, growing over time. And again, the uh, news today makes a, uh, a big uh, push for that as the new capabilities are there. So we started in creating the end slide this way, that format showing the two logos with the line in, in between is sort of the standard way of showing a partnership. And we've been partners for a while, but as of this morning, the new logo is that as one happy family. So with that, thank you very much.